Hey YouTube, well here it is, it's Tuesday, June 15th. Um, as you can see up here in the sky lately, more June gloom, lots of clouds. Uh, we've had very little sun, we've had a little bit of sun, but the days only get up to like 80. Uh, normally in June we have a lot of days in 80, starting to even hit the 90 sometimes. Uh, so, but we've had a lot of rain, we've braked uh, the average already this month. So, but things haven't been growing that great, but I'll show you real quick uh, some of the stuff that's been growing and some of the changes. All right, here we go. Okay, we got our chives here, starting out with the herbs, doing pretty good there. These are our garlic chives. Uh, like I said, next year I'm just going to do it directly in a pot, I'm not going to do it in advance. There's rosemary. Next year I'm going to put rosemary in a bigger pot. It has grown some. The uh, chocolate mint is growing really great. I think some of these bigger branches down here I'm going to start plucking off. Not sure if I had this last time I showed you a video. This is stevia. This is that um, sugar substitute uh, plant. It's really, really sweet, really good. We've, As you can see, this was growing in a greenhouse, so we got some brown spots here just because we've had days that haven't been that warm. Uh, the leaves on the strawberry plants are getting nice and big. Um, I have plucked off some of the flowers over here. Let me see where it was, if I can find it. Oh, right here, I don't know if you can see. Had some holes there, and I had some aphids on the back, and I just went ahead and used the holes and sprayed them off. Nice organic way of water, just power holes. Coming over here, the garlic's doing really good. A couple of pieces haven't done that great, but a lot of the other pieces are doing good. Uh, the more leaves you see on your garlic, it means more more bulbs are growing on it. So we're doing good there. Uh, here we are with our tomatillos. This one's actually come down a little bit. I branch it out, and uh, it's branching out pretty good. Uh, the uh, Cherokee purples back there, those have grown up. I got to get some kind of trellis system on here. I have an idea of what I want to do. It's just with all the rain and the bad weather, I haven't had much chance to do it. Some of these back ones here that weren't getting the greatest sun, they've kind of grown up a little bit. And the chocolate cherries that are uh, no tomato jubilees that I grew are right there, but I did put uh, replacement jubilees in them right here. A little, a little bigger. Got those on sale. So they are growing, but they're not growing great like they should be. They should be at this stage almost twice as height normally. We got our golden summer here. It's growing a pretty good fruit right here. And I've got another one down here, another one here, and another one right there. So it's 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 getting there. Um, these other ones, they have some flowers on them. These two back here, which are the California Wonders, they've been losing their lower leaves because of the wind being so bad. Um, the, nothing's died pepper-wise, which is good. Uh, a good friend of mine, all his peppers, bell peppers and all his hot peppers, they all died from all the rain that we've had. Uh, here's the corn. Corn's doing okay. I've actually back here, went ahead, I had all these extra seeds. I didn't feel like keeping them. So I went ahead and soaked them overnight and then put them in the ground just to see what happens. Some extra cantaloupe seeds, some watermelon seeds and stuff. I just went ahead and put them in the ground. I put like four or five to a plot, which really is only supposed to be one. But I'll wait and see what germinates. And then if some, more than one germinates, then I'll pick it up and transfer it to another spot. Here's our Ichabon eggplant we have two of those they've grown a little bit not a lot just a little bit uh, this is going to be the um, large Asian beans yard long beans I'll probably once if they can get established I'm gonna move them over there I'm also I planted didn't plant over there I got some soaking I'm gonna try to get some more here's an, another new development we got a nice little cucumber growing right there on one of our cu slicing cucumber plants it's uh not that big. They're not growing that big because we just haven't had the heat. This one has grown a, a lot more than this one has because at one point they were the same size. Um, the Dixie Squash, not going anywhere. Oh, also, by the way, this, was it this one or this one? I think it was this one, which is the, uh, no, that's the lemon cucumber. It was this one, the Zucchini Squash. It had like two flowers on it and they just fell off. Um, I did learn, if I can remember right, I think on a lot of your squash plants and things like that, the first flowers to come are the males, and it's not unusual for them to fall off until the female is fully developed. So we got to wait. Okay, coming back over here, we got our Dixie squash. 
our long Asian eggplants. They've gotten a little bigger, but not much really. Then we got our leeks. They're doing okay. They've gotten a few extra leaves. Okra here, not doing anything, which I'm not disappointed in as per se because I know somebody else that's growing uh, okra just around the corner from me, and she has the exact same problem. Our honeydew watermelon, or honeydew, uh, uh, early honeydew is what that is, I'm sorry. Uh, then here is our uh, flathead cabbage. This one hasn't grown that much compared to the other one you'll see. They both both same seeds. They were in the same plot and I moved it over. And uh, this one's grown a little bit since I've moved it. Our lettuce here is doing great. I'm actually going to harvest some, I think, tomorrow morning uh, and have a lunch. So not a lot, but it was an experiment to see what I could grow and how I could grow it. Here's a new addition right here. This is edamame. This is called Beer Friend Edamame, very popular in Japan. You, they, and, you know, here in the U.S., we serve uh, popcorn and peanuts with beer. Well, in Japan, they serve edamame with beer, and this is one real popular with beer. We've got our butter crunch right here, lettuce, and our iceberg lettuce right there going. Haven't had, uh, well, well, let me finish and go ahead. You got your uh, spinach, which just really isn't getting that big, except for that one right there and one way back there. It looks like I'm having either slug or something problem. Uh, and I got to check on that one. We've got our onions are doing good. I mean, they're getting some height to them there. Come down here and take a look. See, I get some height to them. So they're, they're standing up. They're not falling down. Our celery is doing really good on this side. Once again, not doing that great over there. And that's mainly because that's where the cat decided to use it as a litter box. And I think that affected its growth, stunted a little bit. If you've never seen celery grow, let me come down here and show you, give you a light idea. See that uh, coming up? So that'll get pretty tall. Doing really good. Our carrots are doing good. They're getting bigger. Uh, you know, they're getting a little higher than they were. Doing good. Here's our other flathead. If you can see, compare my hand to this right there. This one's doing much better than that other one. Uh, Going to be taking these onions out. I had some onions actually prop up, some Walla Wallans. And I just ripped them out because I'm going to put the yard long beans here instead. So these onions are going to come out. Then you look back here and our snow peas, a little sure snap snow peas, those are doing really good. Got to get that plastic out of there. Blued there last night. But if you see, it's come up. Each one of these is six inches. So six, 12, 18, 24. So almost all of them are about two feet high now. So a little more, they're definitely two feet high because that's about, you know, actually on the bottom there an extra eight to 10 inches. So we're doing really good down there. Let's come over here and show you the new addition. Here's another form of raised bed. I didn't have the money to buy wood. Oh, there's a sprinkle. Uh, didn't have the money to buy wood to make the bed I eventually want to make here. But what I did is I got um, a yard of city compost and I used that as my base and then I dug holes. These are the Roma tomatoes I kept saying I wanted to plant here. So what I did is I dug holes. I put in two big scoopfuls of, um, you know, a trial scoopful of organic uh, potty mix. And the reason why I use the organic potty, potty mix is it's already got peat moss in it. It's already got the vermiculite in it. It's got all natural fertilizers in it. So I put that in there. I put in two scoops of worm compost and two scoops of mushroom compost. And also I'm using a product called tomato tone. So I put a handful of tomato tone in there as well. So we'll see what happens there. I just did this about two days ago. We got six Roma tomato plants in here and I'll give you a downward view so you can get a little idea of what they uh, what they look like. But this is another form of raised bed. You know, it's just up out of the ground. You're not bearing into the ground. I've got weed fabric in it. And uh, let me back up here just so you can get an idea of what the height is on the tomatoes. They're not that much bigger. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So there we go and uh, starting to drizzle so I'm going to make this quick and this one I've already noticed in some of these a little bit of a height difference just a couple of inches but still it, they were so pot bound it wasn't even funny so there we go so listen it's starting to rain like we expected it's going to rain the next two days so hopefully come Thursday I'll be able to come back out here and get a little more work done good gardening and good June talk to you later bye